hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the purest of white lights okay Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, blocked, whatever, destroyed, it is being restored and returned to you. Okay? All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Okay? Judgment is final. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, in, get into our tarot read. You may have some privileged lady, high honor, whatever you want to call her. Someone is going through some type of financial loss they may be going through. I don't know if it's like a divorce or something like that. Someone is leaving her behind. Or you have someone that's going through some type of financial loss because of what they did to you. While you are going through some type of transition, you're coming out of financial loss. You're coming out of stagnation. You're coming out of poverty. Someone is going into that. You may have a group of people going through some type of ending because they know what's ahead of them. They may want to come in and give you some type of offer because they know that either something legal is coming up or they're about to lose a whole lot or this is what's going on so someone thinks coming in and giving you some type of offer is going to bring some type of balance into the situation right so they want to bring your finances back into balance they want to maybe restore something that they damaged so let's say you know i have a platform right and maybe a group of people behind the scenes decide to go and cause blockage for my platform so because they don't want it to grow and they don't want me to be financially independent, self-sufficient, and things like that. They don't want they don't want me to be abundant, right? They will go in and cause blockages, maybe even interfering with people being able to subscribe to my channel, the things like that, right? So this is a group of people that got together and did this. And the reason they did this is because either someone told them that, you know, um, maybe let's say maybe they told them I was a, a dark worker, I was malicious, I was whatever I was. Um, only for them to find out it's not true or there's something where someone may have proof of what they did behind the scenes um, and now maybe they're in some type of panic or like well yeah they're they're panicking behind the scenes they are panicking because the truth is out um so let's say i'm telling you they're panicking because the truth is out like people know what they did and they're afraid of maybe some type of lawsuit so you may have like a queen of pentacles that may want to come in and give you some type of offer, maybe financial assistance or something like that. But she's trapped in something that she's not going to be able to get out of. None of these people are going to be able to get to get out of what this is. So if you have someone coming towards you, let's say there's a masculine that they are aware of that wants to come in and give you some type of offer. They know that this masculine is aware of what's going on. Someone went to a practitioner to get the truth. Someone went to the practitioner to get a different perspective because something just was not adding up. But I think there's a problem. Yeah, they went to the practitioner to see things from a higher perspective to get the truth. And this has led to some type of victory for you, collective, because someone it, someone may be like burning behind the scenes because of the actions they took against you. I'm telling you, they are realizing that you are a sweetheart. You're someone very genuine right and they interfere with your victory this is something a lot of people do to content creators and the fact that content keeps coming out means that someone did this to a platform and people could be doing this to a lot of terror readers because you know people have a thing where they say terror readers are delusional they're just making up stories until you do a reading that resonates with them and then they take it personal and want to destroy your platform but it's a lot of terror readers that are going through this behind the scenes where people are tempering with their platforms they'll send you like a message and act like they're giving you an offer only to hack your account and start messing with your numbers that like people do this all the time and there's something here where either a masculine or a feminine knows the truth and has proof 
of what these people did behind the scenes and they know that it's going to lead to some type of legalities so you may have someone coming in now wanting to give you some money financial assistance to kind of mellow you down mellow you out it's not going to work okay if someone is destroying your platform and you are giving proof if someone tempered with your resources stole from you did anything to you and you have proof of that i'm telling you the right thing to do is to take them i'm telling you man you see that right there courts these people have some legal issues coming in and they think giving you money is going to bring balance and i mentioned the freaking queen of pentacles and there she is she has issues, she has troubles coming in she's trapped in something she has trouble coming in her money is about to be stagnant someone is about to be having to wonder where where's my money coming from where's my next paycheck she may not even work she relies on someone for money where's my money i need some money yeah someone's money is about to be on hold just that she put your money on hold because that's what you're typically doing to content creators when you interfere with their platforms blocking their uh, blocking people from being able to subscribe to them blocking people from being able to view their content you're blocking their resources so this woman's resources are being diminished she thought she was financially secure and she will be able to do this for a long time this was a full-time commitment for these people this was an absolute full-time commitment for them but now you know that the tables have turned and someone has proof i'm telling you these people are living in fear and anxiety and they may think that you are naive enough to trust them when they come into i'm telling you this court case there's a court case coming up there is a court case coming up for some of you there could be a court case going on behind the scenes maybe someone took action on your behalf these people think that you are naive and they're just going to come into your energy and you know flash you a little bit of money and they say oh well they're in he's in poverty she's in poverty anyways so this assistance we're giving them will be good enough no it's not court case court case sue the heck out of them and the re this is part of the reason why and you're going to get paid when you do that the reason why they're trying to they've been trying to hide some of you's platforms or your businesses is because they don't want the truth coming out someone may have even stolen your intellectual property someone may have stolen something from you and so if the public is aware of your existence they're going to see the truth they'll say well this content did not originate with you this business did not originate with you. This is the original creator. So what the heck is going on here, right? You told us this person was illiterate. You told us this person was incompetent. You told us someone was not mentally stable, but it sounds like they're more educated than you. You're going to, I'm telling you, you take them to court. This is you. You are not naive. That's how they see you. And it's a dead, it's a dead for them their lights are out and this is what they are afraid of you see how you're going from the four of pentacles to the eight of pentacles security you've been living in this energy and they've been living that like vita loca cheering behind the scenes happy that they got to block you block your work block your forward movement someone went and found out the truth about your work you are legit someone in here went to a priestess a high priestess to find the truth out and she told this person this person is solid this isn't a bad person someone is just committed and focused on their past they said oh well they told me that she was into dark magic they told me that she did this they told me that she was this that woman said no she's none of those things he's none of those things this person is just focused on their purpose, their path. They found their call, their calling and they committed themselves to it. So now someone is in regret. Their conscience is eating them up. Because they destroyed something or they destroyed someone that was genuine, had nothing to do with whatever they were being accused of. Okay? Nothing. You were busy manifesting your rea your life, your reality trying to create abundance for yourself now out here looking for handouts from people that's, that's the energy they wanted you in to be in some type of oh can you help me sir 
Can you help me, missus? Can you help you? Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you? No, you are out here focused on your pentacles, manifesting a new reality for yourselves. Not a beggar, perfecting your skills. You started off as a page of pentacles and you made it here to an eight of pentacles. That's commitment. That is commitment. That's called investing into yourself and your future. And because people in here are so jealous of you, jealous at the fact that you will dare think that you can manifest abundance for yourself, that you would think highly of yourself, they manipulated a group of people to destroy your future, your pathway. But rest assured, your future was not destroyed. The truth is known. And everyone in here that took action against you to block your resources, they're going through some type of ending. They're going to be exactly where they put you or where they were intending for you to be. There's no amount of money they can offer you or they should be able to offer you that can mend this. Someone does not want to go to court because they're going to lose a lot more when they, when they go to court with you. Something is, in, is undisputable that they can't refute it. They can't say, oh, that's not me. I didn't have nothing to do with it. No, yes, you did. Yes, you did. The paper trail is there. Someone has proof. So they may have been trying to block this masculine from even connecting with you because they don't want to be exposed. So they've been making it. I'm telling you, these people are exposed. Exposed. And there's nothing they can do about it. I guarantee you there's a queen of pentacles behind the scenes that wants to come in and give you some type of disingenuous friendship offer. Oh, hey, honey, hey. You don't know her as far as you're concerned. Whoever she used to be, whoever you used to be are two different people now. I don't care how much money she has, how much money she doesn't have. You don't know her. Reject her friendship. Reject her friendship. They saw you as naive. This is how a lot of people see the Queen of Cups. This is how a lot of people view the Queen of Cups. As someone very naive. A bit of a dreamer. Wish the Queen of Cups are dreamers, but they're not naive. They're just silent. You don't know what they know. They're kind of like another high priestess because they're very intuitive and gifted. But they keep everything to themselves. You see how she's focused on her uh her, her her chalice that's in her hand that's all she's worried about her dreams her inspiration aspirations things that matter to her that's what she's focused on it's not that she doesn't see what's going around her she does but she knows how to mind her business and stay quiet i'm telling you she knows how to stay quiet calm collect poise say nothing play along until the right time so these people are in for some type of rude awakening. Oh, baby, I said rude awakening. Rude awakening. They're trapped. There is no way out of this. As I'm hearing, what I just heard is some, you know, some uh -huh. your freaking ancestors, they sat back and let these people carry this out. Someone was very happy. Man, you should have seen them behind the scenes. Maybe even high-fiving each other. We did it. We did it. Yay. Dora, 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 the Espora. Dora is out here talking about, we did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. They were celebrating your downfall. They were celebrating that they have blocked your income. They were celebrating that they have blocked your success. So they, so they thought. Until someone found the truth out. If this person had never gone to find the truth out, you will, no one will have ever known. Someone may have even had evidence in their hands the whole time and they didn't realize that they had evidence the whole time. And now they don't want him to come near you. But honey, your ancestors are taking care of it. Your ancestors are taking care of it. I'm telling you, they are taking care of it. Legalities, there's going to be some type of judgment made and someone is not happy about how this is going to turn out because they know they effed up royally. There is no way to refute this evidence. Okay, I'm telling you, this queen of pentacles has issues coming in. She has issues coming in. This is someone that pretends to be the pillar of the community, pretends to be in the upright. This is someone that pretends to be genuine, down to earth, all kinds of stuff. She ain't none of those things. None of those things. 
someone is just jealous. She may be successful in some type of way, maybe have some have business or something. But honey, she has foresight of what's up ahead of her. And it says loss, destruction, fall from grace is what's up ahead of her. And she knows it. I'm telling you, she wants to come in and guess like you. This woman don't care about you. If she was not in this between a rock and a hard, hard, um, hard place with you, this woman wouldn't look your way twice. As a matter of fact, this would be the person that was sending you energy to end you. This would be the leader of the group. Someone was determined. Okay, determined. She wants to come in, honey. She said, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going to go give her an offer. No, honey. No. She sees, she looks down on you. She thinks she's better than you. But this is someone, I heard the word, hua. You know, you know what the word is? Hua? Okay? No self-respect, nothing. But because she has a little bit of money, uh-huh, she thinks she's better than you. I'm telling you, something has been exposed as evidence. Judgment has been made. There will be a court case. So this little facade of an apology they're trying to come in with, they can keep that. Stick it up where the sun does not shine. They can keep that apology. And someone is going to help you. I'm telling you, someone is going to help you take these mother suckers to court. They're trying to send someone in to you real quick. They say, hey, hey, hurry up and go to this person. Hurry up. If you talk to them, then maybe by the time he gets there, she'll change her mind. He'll change his mind. No, honey. Ain't no mind changing with the collective. Right, collective? No. You are going to sue. This is what they came for. Hey, now. This is what you came for. Oh, oh. Yeah. Because that's the energy they put out there. People should never feel comfortable. You should never feel like you have enough power. You're powerful enough to block someone else's future. First of all, you're a disgrace, you're delusional, you need help, you're immature and insecure. That's going to be you for the rest of your life. And people know that. Everyone around you know that. They look at you like a joke. Everyone around you, the people you work with, they see you as a joke. That's all you'll ever be. And the person you're going up against, this is them. People know that too. The people you're around know that. They know that. You came after someone genuine and innocent because of your insecurities. Right. You see that? You were working on building your pentacles, building a whole business. Someone, whoever went to this high priestess, told them that you are going to be abundant. You are very successful already. This is because with high priestesses, they know there's no past or future. Everything is in the now. So yeah, in the in, in, in human perspective, you may not be wealthy at the moment, but this is your future. You're coming out of the cold straight into a ten of pentacles. Look at the difference. You went from here, here to here. Here, 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 here. Listen, the big jump. You did some type of quantum physics leap, <laughs> quantum physics, physics uh, leap. Like you just uh, broop, over here. That's what it seems like on the surface. That's what it seems like from outsiders that you just did a big leap. You went from poverty to success. No, it takes a lot of work behind the scenes, a lot of healing, commitments. You don't just wake up one day and you're in the Eight of Pentacles energy. You don't just wake up the next day and you're in the Ten of Pentacles energy. It takes work and commitment. But people like these are so vain. They don't think like think that way. Or they're easily triggered by other people that have their mind on right. They feel insecure about positive energies. They feel insecure by people that are healed or trying to heal themselves. It bothers them. So they make it their personal mission to destroy you. Someone here had no reason to come after you besides the fact that they are insecure and intimidated by you. Every time they see you, every time they hear your voice, every time they hear about you, it bothers that demon within them. That demon starts inside of them. Maria, 
I don't want to hear about Maria. And then you have a masculine in here that just waits to hear your name so they can start yapping about you, telling all kinds of lies. These people need help. They need help. They've been trying to cause you distress, but every day you're out here just minding your business and living your life. They ain't in a beautiful energy and they don't understand why. They say, why is this person still happy? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you need to go heal so you can figure it out. Someone looks down on you. They think you're beneath them, but then they're the one taking time out of their day to come after you, talk about you all day. If someone is beneath you, why are you so focused on them? Why would you take actions to destroy them if they're so beneath you? Why would a noble be entertaining a peasant? Think about that. Is it because you're not really a, a noble? You're not. It's a delusion. When it comes to someone's character, they are in deplority. But they know who you are. They know who you are. And they're intimidated by that. Your spiritual gifts are going to lead to abundance for you. Honey, they know who you are. They watch you. They stalk you. They gossip about you. You are the hot topic. Hot pockets. Everything you can think of this person's life is centered around it when it comes to you. Someone wakes up and they, if you have a social media platform, they click on there to see if you've posted anything. Some of these people have been hiking into, hacking into a, a people's personal devices because they're so obsessed. They're so obsessed. They call you crazy content creators, but because they can't do what you do, it bothers them. So who do you think you can create abundance for yourself? For example, social media content. Once it gets to a specific place like YouTube, you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours to be monetized, right? Once it becomes monetized, you're making money and sleeping. You create your content, put it out there, and it's making money for the rest of the time that it's out there, right? So you're making money while you're sleeping. And they took, the, they wanted to take that away from you. Is that we don't want their subscribers to grow. We don't want them to get a lot of views. So someone went in and blocked all of that. And now the tables have turned. And they're, they're honey, the tables have turned. I'm telling you, the tables have turned. It's balance being brought into this situation. They're not laughing anymore. It's not funny anymore because they stand to lose a lot. They stand to lose absolutely a lot. And when they try to come in your energy, this is you. You have your sword pulled out. And they know it. I wouldn't even bother if I was them because it's, it's useless. There's a couple in here. They know they can't come to you, neither of them. It could be a king of swords and a queen of pentacles. Neither of them can come in your energy to apologize to you. So they may want to send someone else. You don't want to talk to them either. They're trying to beat someone to the punch. They said, don't, if we can make sure this person don't come in their energy, we should be good to go. If they don't get to partner up with this person, we should be good to go. We can just give them, you know, $5 because that's what they're giving you basically compared to what you get out of this court case. It's $5. If someone comes in your energy trying to give you money, and you know they're not a giver. They don't typically just give money to people. You need to question that. Even if someone comes in your energy and confesses and they say they want to give you $30,000, say, I want a million dollars. I want a million dollars. Okay? See what they say. Oh, you're not going to give me a million? Okay, I'll see you in court. I will see you in court. Okay? This, this, I'm telling you, bad news, bad news for this privileged lady, bad news, bad news for this privileged lady, bad news for her. Whatever action this woman took, this impulsive action she took, is led to bad news for her. 
because you know exactly what to do. I said something about a kink of swords, right? You could work with this person. <laughs> you could work with this person and they've been interfering with your life. You were supposed to receive a message. You didn't receive the message because they interfered with it. You may have a couple that even stole some money from you or blocked some type of resources from coming to you. And he's receiving bad news. He's re I'm telling you, he's receiving bad news. Something is eating somebody up. Someone is living in fear because of all the illusions that they caused, what they partook in, what they partook in. And your ancestors are going to keep hunting these people until they do right by you. I'm telling you, you're going to be partnering up with who you're supposed to partner up with. This man here is receiving bad news about a partnership still coming together. He's being told, hey, yeah, honey, new, new life. They were told, hey, these two people are still coming together. So I don't know what you were doing, but they're still coming together. I know you all did a lot of hocus pocus, um, but yeah, they're still coming together. They're still going to be partnering up and working together and manifesting that Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups energy. I'm telling you, when this man connects with you, uh-huh. He's going to tell you exactly what to do. He's going to work with you to bring justice into this situation. And that's what they don't want. I'm telling you, he's going to be connecting with you. He's going to be connecting with you. That's what they don't want. They're like, if this mother effer here connects with her, connects with him, we are done. Oh, and it's going to happen just like that. It's going to happen just like that because he's moving on. There's nothing they can do to stop it. I'm telling you, nothing they can do to stop him because he's standing his ground. He's moving on. Someone may be even protecting you behind the scenes, protecting his new beginning because he knows the truth now. These people work together tirelessly. They had a couple of tries at this when it came to blocking your work, your work, up, your positions, your resources. They took a couple of tries. Someone tried, they didn't succeed at it. And then another person tried, they didn't succeed at it. And then someone finally took a whack at it and they got it right. And they said, I told you I could get it done. And he didn't know he was stealing his fit. She didn't know she was stealing her fit. And now the Piper is here to collect. The Piper as in karma, justice, balance, Mayat is here to collect and they don't want to pay up. So they think they're going to come in and fool you. No, 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 no. Someone is coming in to bring justice into this situation. He's, yeah, and they're not happy about that. Burden is going to lead to a lot of loss for them. Burden. Burden. Some of these people knew you were in poverty. Not some. They all knew you were in poverty. And this is the energy they wanted to keep you in. So that how dare you, girl or boy? Think you can build something and be successful. How dare you, you how dare you don't feel lowly about yourself? We told you you were nothing. We told you you were worthless. How dare you think highly of yourself? And it's all jealousy. It's all jealousy and collaboration. They collaborated. All they had to do was just leave you alone. Someone went and spread a whole lot of lies, and everyone got on the bandwagon. Let's destroy her. Let's destroy him. You ain't never going to succeed. Someone took pride in what they did to you. They took pride. And if they think that you and this person are about to meet, they have people stalking you, trying to interfere with you two meeting, all kinds of stuff. But you and this person are going to meet right at the right time excuse me for the repetition you're going to meet at the right time it won't be planned between the two of you it's going it's already planned by the most high and you see this is going to lead to marriage hmm. this is why you should never feel so powerful 
that you think you can just do anything to anyone and get away with it. And you think, oh, you know, we're all on the same page, you and your partners in crime. Well, I'm telling you, never think that you can just do anything to anyone and get away with it. You are always being watched. Even the people you're working with, you never know if something's going to change between you and those people. One day you can be working with someone, they're your partner in crime, and the littlest of things can happen and they turn on you and snitch. So you should never feel solidified in life enough to feel that you can just do whatever you want because you have pals around you high-fiving you. Good job, man. Good job, man. You took her down. Good job. Morons. Morons, man. Morons. And the whole time you're doing it, this person you're destroying is looking at you. It's like, I know what you did. I know what you've been doing. But I promise you, karma is coming. And she's here. I'm telling you, she's here. She's here. This is current energy. This is not future or past. This is current energy. These people are living in fear. They're trapped. These are toxic people and their toxicity, their karmic ways, refusing to heal and leave other people the heck alone has led them here. You had a masculine in here that thought he was going to limit your path any uh, offer something given to you so he could be the one to come in offer you marriage just so he could keep you bounded so he can have access to your resources he said heck this person has a platform that's very abundant they make a hundred thousand a year or they make 15 grand a month or something i'll never have to work again a day in my life so what i'm going to do is i'm going to block the content right now and then i'll go in and offer them uh my hand in marriage and if they take me, if they turn me down, then I'll just destroy the whole platform. If they accept me, then miraculously, their platform will start growing again. What a moron. What an idiot. Are you really that delusional that you think you're that powerful? And the whole time they were taking action against you, they thought they were being discreet with their karmic friends until someone went and found out the truth because something they were doing they kept coming after you and i'm just using platforms as an example it can be anything they kept coming after you but every day you woke up the scene you weren't throwing a fit they saw you you were still smiling you were still courteous to people still thankful in positive energy and they're like something's not adding up this person kept telling themselves even when it started, something's not adding up. Something is not adding up. So they went to find out the truth. And lo and behold, they found out their toxic friends were the problems. You're not the problem. Someone lied to them. So they put an end to this whole thing, the collaboration, and they moved on. They said, I don't want to be part of it. They put an end to it and moved on with their life. I don't want to be part of this. You deceived me. You're a liar. They may be trying to find the strength to even come towards you now and ask you for forgiveness. Do you know how much of a burden that is? When you take action against, I'm telling you, it's a burden. It is a burden to take action against someone that has done nothing to you all the time, the whole time thinking that they were, they were wicked, they were mean, they were vindictive, they were malicious all kinds of stuff, but you find out someone didn't do nothing. They're not evil. They're not conniving. They're not a narcissist. They don't steal. They're not reckless. They just mind their business. So someone was coming in to marry you just to do this. Just to do this. This is what they did to your work. And now this is what they're going through, heartbreak, disappointment. The same thing they cost you is what they're going through. And I'm talking about a masculine coming in that wanted to come in, give you an offer to marry you just to what? Destroy you. And that is exactly how it's showing up. He was going to come in, pretend to be your twin flame. He could be your twin flame, but this person does not care about the things you care about. He's not into, he's not into love. I don't know what the heck it is. I don't know how the elders, the council have it set up where you and someone are being can resonate on the same frequency 
in the spirit realm, but then when you manifest, complete opposites. One is a nightmare, and the other one is subtle, gentle, modest, upright, and the other one is a freaking force of darkness. So they were gonna come in, do their little twin fling thing, put on their little twin fling hat, get you to marry them. This. Because they're very toxic. Toxic. If there was a pictorial definition of toxicity, it would be this masculine. Tox, I'm telling you. And he has the audacity to be a narcissist. My gosh. This person has a sense of entitlement. Someone is so far gone. Like, it's like they're hard of hearing. Common sense is not common to this person. Like someone is just dumb because the narcissism in them is just too much. It's just too much. At this point, they can't even control it. It's an embarrassment. These people saw you focus on your pentacles and they decided, oh, we got to put, I'm telling you, look at this coming out. <laughs> We got to put a stop to this. We can't let them get that. You know, they wanted you in poverty. You say, okay, I'm not going to put my hand out to anyone for help. I'm going to build my own empire. And they saw that it was going to be successful, so they knocked it down. Said, no, you got to stay below, beneath us. And the most high saw, they said, oh, okay, I'm going to put all of you beneath this person. How about that? So all of them are going beneath you. And they're going to need you, by the way. Some of these people are headed into poverty. They're headed into poverty and they're going to need you, but you won't be nowhere to be found because you'll be up somewhere healing the world. Being a blessing to other people. Oh yeah. Having a good time with your soul tribe, making new friends, socializing, having equal give and take with people that are like-minded like you. These people are defeated. They are defeated. Someone in here is burdened because they know they took action against the wrong person simply because of their ego. Someone was given some type of last leg opportunity by the universe to do right. He said, I don't care about all that love and life stuff. I don't care about none of that. I like toxic women. I'm going to stay with them. And the most I said, okay, as you wish. And now he's about to be losing everything. He should have taken a different path, but you know, he stayed committed to his toxicity. If he would have taken a different path, this would have been him. This would have been him. The Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. My goodness. You got to be a special kind of stupid to do this kind of stuff to people. Is that no, someone is not even bothering you all, just minding their business, going on about their life. And you said, Oh, we got to take that person down. For what? I don't know. We're just going to do it. For what again? Oh, they, they're a liar. They're a dark worker. You know, in the universe, they said, mm, mm, mm. don't do that. But they did it. They took action, impulsive action to do this to you. And now they're going through endings. The, you defeated these people and they don't even know how it happened. They all collaborated together to destroy what you were building. You were building an institution, basically an enterprise, an empire, and they took action to destroy it, to block it. And he thought he was going to come here and be like, hey, I'm your twin fling. I'm your soul twin. We're meant to be. We're meant to be together. Mm -hmm. You saw him from a distance and they reject. Reject. That is crazy. This person straight had a whole plan. What did, Someone in here has a problem with you being healed. They say, I, I, how, how is this person recovering from what we've already done to them or what we haven't even done to them yet? They say, you already know what they are going to do and you take the necessary steps. Like your mental is very strong because you're seeing what they're going to do and you are like just going through the healing process before they even take action. That's what being a high priestess is. Like you see what other people don't see and you take action to protect yourself and you have some type of protection around you 
that no one can understand. That no one can understand. Protection. Every action they took against you, there's some type of protection to block it. So you're protecting yourself and your ancestors, the universe, your angels, they're protecting you as well. And these people don't understand why. This is the energy they want you in. You keep showing up in this angelic energy because you are one of those. I thought you said this person was going to be angry. I thought you said this person was going to give up and you're just out here living your life. Italoka. You said, I don't care if I have $2 in my bank account. I'm still going to be out here happy. Because I already know this is temporary. This is a temporary matter. This is this is just a season of my life. I remember when I was going through like one of the worst times of my life. I got pregnant at 17, folks. Yeah, they're fighting. I got pregnant at 17, disowned by my family. Had to go out into the world and figure things out on my own. And I have a godmother that would tell me every freaking time. And I hate it when she would tell me this. But looking back now, I'm so grateful she told me. She said, honey, this is just a season of your life. And she used to say it so often, I would tell myself, this is a freaking long season because, honey, the, the season was just too long. Too long. Here I was, a straight A student in school, an athlete in school, dreams of going to the Olympics, dream of, dream of becoming a, 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 pharm, a, a pharmacist. Like, I had so many dreams. Because I'm one of those people, I'm multifaceted. I can learn something today, learn another thing, and I still remember all of them and have a good time learning and doing them all. So I'm very multifaceted. Like my set here you see is very exemplary of who I am. Very artistic, like just into every everything you can think of, okay? So I had a whole lot of dreams when I was in high school. Straight A student, even in college, you know, Lots of dreams, but then I go and get pregnant. And when I say my life turn flip turn upside down like Bel Air overnight, but that woman used to be there telling me, honey, it's just a season of your life. And I hear that when she would tell me it, but it was just a season of my life. My my baby that I had at uh, uh, um, 17 is 14 now, very handsome, very respectful, very kind, sweetheart. I don't call him a sweetheart though when he's around because <laughs> he gives me the mom. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. But it's a tower and they're going through a tower. So they want to come in and give you an offer. They said, we want to come and brag from you. It was a seem like a solid offer, but you deserve better. You deserve more. I'm telling you, you deserve more. <laughs> So don't you settle for less than what you deserve. You deserve more, plenty more, plenty more. I'm telling you, because you didn't do anything to these people. I'm telling you, you're, you're, you, you are manifesting. Even if they're interfering with communications, your good news, you're still out here manifesting a new future for yourself because you understand the power of self-will and manifestation. That you all can keep doing your little childish little boy, little girl games over there playing with yourself, emptying out your bank accounts and things like that. It's causing someone a lot of money to block you, to stalk you, to make you feel uncomfortable and uneasy. Okay? I had someone a couple of weeks ago. This person should not even know where I live, honey. I go outside, I'm walking to the store with, I think I was going to the library with my daughter. He shows up and I'm like, what the heck is he doing here? But I didn't, he said, oh, you know, I saw you and I thought I knew you. So I just wanted to say hi. I'm looking like, don't you feel ashamed to be doing stuff like this? Don't you feel ashamed to be doing stuff like this? Can you, and honey, if I told you guys who it was, like, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It was, I was embarrassed for the both of them. 
But my ancestors told me just stay polite, say hi, and keep on going. So I did just that. He said hi. I said hi. My my beautiful daughter said hi to them. And we were on our way. We don't have anything to conversate about. I'm not going to be rude, mean to you. I don't feel uncomfortable. I just feel embarrassed for you that you have to go to this extent to try to make me feel uneasy or something like that. I don't. That lets me know that behind the scenes, they are co collaborating with someone to have me feeling uncomfortable and stuff. Little do they know, I don't give two S-H-I-T anymore, honey. That stuff I care about when I was in my 20s. Something happened when I hit my 30s. <laughs> Something happened when I hit my 30s. I took a different path and went through some type of death, rebirth. And who I became may be a mystery to people. But I just want you all to know, I don't give two S-H-I-T who you are, where you pop up at, following me, stalking. I don't give two shits. <laughs> okay? Let me just speak the French. I don't give two shits. Do as you please. Because I already know how it's going to end out. How it's going to turn out for you all. Do as you please. So, it's collective, you're in a predicament just like that. Maybe you were supposed to receive a position and someone interfere with that. Maybe you were supposed to, you know, have a business that was like really abundant out here, prospering. Someone interfere with that. Maybe you have a platform that was about to go viral. Someone interfere with that because they wanted to humble you. And now God is humbling them. God is humbling them. Except the humbling they're going through is worse than what they were going to, they could cost you. What they took from you is far less than what they're losing. These people are going through deaths. And they feel burdened by it. All the manipulations and things like that didn't work. They, tried, they wanted you living in fear, feeling uncomfortable. It didn't work. You still have your eye on the price. I'm telling you, you have your eye on the price. You know your path. You know the, 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 the road that lies ahead. You have foresight of everything. You know exactly who you are. You have a high sense of awareness. Self-awareness is something that you are very, very good at. But when people see you, they may not know that. Some of you look very young for your age. You could be in your 40s and you look like you're in your 20s. So when people see you, yeah, you're very young for your age, very vibrant, lively. When people see you, they say, oh, that's a young and naive person. They don't know what they're doing in life. I can still play games with them. And then they find out you're very skilled and they have a lot to learn from you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you're, you're very skilled and they have a lot to learn from you. Some of these people, you can help them heal. But their pride, their ego, their toxicity is in the way. Yeah, you can help them heal. So you always have the upper hand in the situation. Honey, you all are taking charge of your lives and moving on. You're like, you can do whatever you want. You want to fire me? Go ahead. You want to break us up? Go ahead. <laughs> you want to take this away? Go ahead. Let me give it to you. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> You're not attached to nothing and no one. You're a free being. And that's something none of them will ever understand because their worth is all attached to money. So that's all they know about is money, protecting money, even if it doesn't belong to them. They don't care how they get it. There's the Queen of Pentacles going through an ending behind the scenes. She's living in fear. You're free to be, and she's toxic as heck, a burden to people around her, a burden to people around her. She's not happy about what's going on. You're going to be receiving some type of information, honey, and it's not something she wants taking place. So she either wants to come in or she wants to send someone in to cloud your judgment. Uh-huh. Thank you. To cloud your judgment. This is what they were doing, trying to end you, but they're not. It's not. 
whoever is meant to come towards you is still coming. And they're coming to connect with you. They're going to tell you the truth. They're going to come and confess. Someone wants you to forgive them. They were trying to end you with lies. Manipulation. It's, oh my gosh. They were trying to end you. This is you. But they lied. To cause you some type of loss. They told people you were nothing but darkness. Likeness. You were a lost cause. And so they, they told a lot of lies. But the lies are not doing nothing. It's not working. You're not out. You're not rejected. They're instead being seen for who they are. All the illusions and things they were causing is causing them more disappointment than you. You don't care. You don't care. Financial loss, emotional loss, everything you can think of, you're going through it behind the scenes. I'm telling you, going through it behind the scenes, their marriage is falling apart. Their finances, everything is falling apart. They're living in fear. Dang. And you may have predicted something, some of you. Yeah, you see this here? This is what's up, up ahead. Justice. Some of you who have predicted something was happening may have warned people not to do something, but they disregarded what you said and they still went ahead and did it. They still went ahead and did it. And you sat back, you said, okay. Okay. Now they want to come in and brag from you. You say, mm hmm. And a lot of them, the karma is just starting. Uh -huh. I knew this sucker was going to come out. I knew it was going to come out. They worked hard, honey, to cause you an ending, to betray you. You have people in here that you are familiar with. Lovers, families, friends, co-workers, all of them. And some of us, we just sit back and watch. I'm telling you, the chaos, the fall from grace the loss is just too much some type of impulsive action or plan they took led to some type of ending they could never have predicted there's no recovery there is no recovery okay no recovery it does not make no sense to be this bitter on the inside. It makes no sense to be this bitter. And the whole time they're de trying to destroy you, you're just moving on, elevating behind the scenes. You have complete clarity. You have clarity of the situation. I'm telling you, clarity. You know exactly what they did. You know exactly what they did. You know. And you're taking charge of your life. You're not letting anyone deceive you. They may want to come in and cloud your judgment, make you think you and them are friends. You, know, you, you are not friends. There's ulterior motive with her. You are not friends. Okay, you two are not friends. That is not a friend. That is not a friend indeed. Okay? I'm telling you. This union is still coming together. It is still coming together. This this whole reading is a heartache, a headache, everything is. Because there's no way, no reason why people this old, though, people their their ages. But this is not young people. These are people that are older than a lot of you. Doing this, I'm telling you, they're older than a lot of you. And they are this immature and insecure with themselves. Uh huh. And they're upset. This is how someone sees you as very brave, loving, very gentle. They don't like the fact that someone sees you as that. They don't like the fact that someone sees you as that. As that. And they don't understand how you have the strength to still keep moving forward. 
and say give it up you say well give all up i'm not fighting a battle you guys are fighting a bat battle by yourselves i've been moved on with my life i'm telling you i've been moved on and you all are the ones that are still stuck in this madness And you see this? They're not happy. I told you, you two are still coming together. You see that? The Empress and the Emperor still coming together. Your Emperor is going through some type of recovery or healing behind the scenes. I don't know why I keep getting that in my readings, but someone is healing. That Eight of Cups and things like that, the Page of Cups, when those cards come out, it's letting me know that someone is healing behind the scenes. Someone is not happy because you two are still going to be connecting in divine timing. Someone thought it thought they had something figured out that if they stay calm long enough, it was gonna blow over. Someone was gonna change their mind about connecting with you. It didn't work. Like someone thought they could pretend to be the ideal woman, woman or partner for a person long enough, and they will, you know, forget about you. I mean, twin flame connections—they're not something you can just forget about, especially if the two souls meet and they interact with each other long enough oh my lord that's not something they can just forget i don't care who you are how big your behind is nothing how pretty your face is it don't matter it's irrelevant when it comes to a twin flame connection where both people are healed now in the ones where they are toxic that person is a lost cause they will still have an attraction to their soul twin but the karmic lifestyle is a little bit too strong for them. So they're, they, they will stay in the karmic lifestyle. So that means they have to come another lifetime to try again to heal. And a lot of the times it takes them a few lifetimes to get it right. It takes them a few lifetimes to get it right. And this masculine, this emperor you're connecting with, I think he's trying to get it right this lifetime. This is a Jizzy Bell energy he's been battling for quite a few lifetimes. I think I had three or four lifetimes. He's been losing to this Jizzy Bell. Dang. These people really partner up to take out a Queen of Cups Empress energy. For no reason, by the way. Just animosity. They have a problem with your confidence, by the way. Your confidence is a problem for these people. Some of you, they see you and say you should not have confidence. You should not feel good about yourself. You should have low self-esteem. If some of them have money, that's why they feel confident about themselves. And you should feel, you should not feel confident about yourself because you don't have as much money as they do. It's just little girl stuff, little boy stuff, insecurity. Every time these kind of people open their mouth to talk, all you hear is insecurity. I'm insecure. I'm insecure. That's all you hear when you are around them, but they don't know that's what they're saying. Every time you take action against someone to block something, block their resources, block their work, block connections, that's all you're saying. I'm insecure. I'm insecure. I'm insecure. I'm insecure. Your light bothers me. Your confidence bothers me. I don't like you because you're pretty, so I'm going to do this. I don't like you because you're confident. I'm going to do this. I don't like you because you're self-sufficient. I'm going to do this to take you down. And they don't know how it sounds, how ridiculous it sounds. Hmm. Energies like these, you got to, I just, like, when they initially start doing something, it may piss you off a little, but then after a while, you just start feeling sorry for them. I remember I was having a conversation with my 13-year-old, uh, my middle child, and I remember I was telling her some of the stuff I was going through behind the scenes with like a group of karmics. And I remember I was telling her, you know, as much as I want to be upset with these people, I really just feel bad for them because of their mindset. They don't realize that they're trapped in some type of, you know, like they're trapped in something. Like I just feel sorry for them. And she'll say, yeah, no. It's really pathetic and sad that they they live that way. Like they see things that way and they don't have like a mind of their own. And I remember I was like, oh my gosh. 
I have a, I've raised an old woman in a little in a little body. But she's honey, this little this girl, I feel like she's she's like 65 years old in a 13 year old body. Very wise beyond her years. Very wise. And sometimes I'm like, huh, did I ruin my kid? Do I then did I ruin my kid to have her be like like the kid, the kid is a different breed, people. She's a different breed. Like I can't complain, but she's a different breed. <laughs> she's a different breed. And that's how I was too when I was growing up, very mature for my age. Knew things I shouldn't know, saw things I shouldn't see. Like I had a level of level of understanding that most people probably didn't have. But I didn't realize that when I was younger until I grew up that, oh, wow, uh, I, I'm having a hard time relating with people around me, people my age and things like that. But something she's, she surprised me because she's learned how to manage that type of energy because she can talk to kids her age and she can talk to adults, but not about like too much, like not, not inappropriate stuff, but like just you can have a mature conversation with her. And that's something I always struggle with. I never was able to relate to people my age, but I could always relate to older people. So I'm very grateful that she can, she knows how to manage that energy because honey, I struggled with it for the longest time. Okay, two coming together, twin flame reunions, soul twins, positive soul ties, good soul ties that leads to ascension. Okay, you and your person coming together is leading, you two are ascending in some way, shape, or form. It's a beautiful thing to be able to ascend together, okay? It says you have keen awareness of what is happening around you. I said that, right? You all know what these people are doing or what they did and what's up ahead. You have foresight. You have keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guy and supporter. I am intuitive. And that's something that's very beautiful when you can understand people's emotions and the things they're going through, even the ones that you don't want to understand as far as the karmics, but you kind of just see and feel everything. It can be a little bit overbearing, but you have that gift for a reason. It can be a little bit too much sometimes. To walk in a room and just feel everything people are going through, you knowing what people are thinking, it, it can be a little bit too much. I get it, but it's a blessing and you're just going to have to learn how to manage that so that you can be able to utilize it productively to be of assistance to other people. Okay. And everybody, not just people you like. Okay, collective. And you know, I'm saying that for a reason, but some of us sometimes. You know, these, these mother suckers, these karmics, they piss, up, piss us up and we side eye. Then you're giving that bombastic side eyes that, hmm, you're testing me right now. But oh, I'll listen to you. I'll listen to you. 12, three celebration, unions coming together, friendships, things like that, abundance. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. I am a visionary, okay? For security, support, protection, uh, um, you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make a difference. Oh, make a, make, oh, Lord have mercy. I need a nap. Let's try this again, shall we? You bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. I am stable. With that said, folks, thank you for watching. As always, stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.